before we go on, there is something that I find to be very creepy that I've just discovered. If you wait long enough, it sounds like, I don't think you guys can hear it, but it, if you wait long enough, it sounds like you can hear an ambulance and then people screaming. I'll be quiet, I'll turn off the TV. Listen very carefully. It just did it. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but that's really freaking creepy. Okay, welcome. I'm a little freaked out now. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out right now. But yes, um, welcome back to more. Let's play. So I'm trying to square pass off from me to bottom. Last time. <clears throat> yeah, it was too invoice for Last time we finally finished up everything um, at Jellyfish Fields. In this episode, I have an idea for the sock videos from now on what they're going to be like. Okay, I'm going to actually cut around to them so these videos don't take as long because they've been taking forever, the sock ones. What's going on with my recording setup? I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to cut to the first sock right now. Okay, your first sock is actually right by back here by this thing that um usually takes forever. Uh and it's right back here. Just keep following this little path. You'll see this tartar guy. You just go ahead and take him out. And you get a sock. So there's your first sock. Bada bing bada boom. Okay, your second sock is gonna be right over here by uh, Bubble Buddy. It's um it's really the easiest one I think to obtain. Um I've gathered it. I did gather it in the previous video that we had of this. So you had to whoopsie daisy. Um yeah, all you have to do for the sock is quite simply go up these little I don't even know, steam powered slippery slopes. And you will get the second sock of downtown kitty bottom. Okay, our next sock, uh, we're gonna need Sandy. The phone is ringing, of course. Sorry about that, I had a phone call I had to take there, but anyways. Your next sock, um, when you're swinging on those ropes right there, <sighs> out of breath, whew, you're gonna go back here and obtain sock number 309 of downtown Bikini Bottom. Your next sock is gonna be right over here. As you're facing these, um, you can turn around. You turn around. And you're gonna fly right on over here to this. Fly over the next gap, and there's your sock number four. Now remember how that uh, south door right there is mocking you? Well, there is a solution to get in there. What we need to do is, and yes, I already had shown this in a previous recording, but I. Um, actually lost all the socks from it. We just need to head on over here to where you got that first golden special. Use swinging Sandy and oh I missed. Yes, now we go over here and do this little gap. Kill the enemy. Get this, get the sock and now we can open the south door. So yeah, there you go, sock number five. Alright, now um you need to be over here and as you can see, there is a thing that only Sa er, Spongebob can hit, because Sandy cannot do that ground pound move. So we need to get Spongebob, there's a bus stop right there, so you don't have to travel that far. Um, it is a little hidden, yes, but it really should not be that big of a problem for you. Uh, you do that just for the heck of the money. That's a lot of freaking money. And you go up on this little windmill here. Wham me, oh, I said that really strange. Okay. And you get the sock. That is sock number six out of nine. Now our next sock you can do either one of two ways. You can follow this big giant pathway that will take you around to that pipe slide and then you can get it that way. But I'm pretty sure you can just... Um, I'm pretty sure you can just fly across to get it. 
can, you can, you can, you indeed you can. So yeah, you really don't have to go the long way. You can just take a pretty easy shortcut that I recommend taking. And that's seven out of nine. Next one here is an um ambush lighthouse. After you finally beat it, uh, just go ahead and press this. Then a bunch of trampolines will appear. And there's a sock up there for you to go collect. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, I had a friend tell me the other day that this game was like impossible to beat. Because there's so many challenges in it and I was like, DUDE! This is one of the easiest games! Available, but anyways, that's 8 out of 9. And the last one you need the boxes for. It's right at the beginning of Across the Rooftop. You just head in the box right there. And go back, and boom, there is a sock. Alright, so now that we're done with that, how about we head back to Bikini Bottom. Cool. Sounds like a plan, Stan. I don't know. Very sorry to you, those of you that I just um, earfully damaged. I don't know. Anyways, there you have it. Um, we have completed Bikini Bottom, Jellyfish Fields, and what's it called? Downtown Bikini Bottom, 100% now. We have uh, 13 socks. So how about we go ahead and get ourselves a golden spatula, or a golden back scratcher, as some of you may call it. There you go. Golden spatula number 93 on our list is now done. Okay, now I actually do have a plan um, for the other sock videos, not, or for the next sock video, because I know that we actually, I know, by the way, that we have, couple more socks to get. We have, er, specials to get. We have one in rock bottom. We have two in the kelp forest. And that's it. And then the rest for Patrick. So we have one in rock bottom and two in the kelp forest. Well, what I'm gonna do is, um, like, I'm just gonna be going in order, getting socks, like, Kitty Bottom, Jellyfish Fields, not time Kitty Bottom, next episode is gonna be Boogoon. Uh, rock bottom. See, I'll get all the socks in rock bottom, and then we'll do this hidden task, okay? Like, same thing goes for when we get to the kelp forest. I'll do the socks there, and then get these two golden spatulas. So, next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we're gonna get all the socks in Goo Lagoon and finish it off 100%. See you guys then. Bye!